<laughs> okay, um, this is my third attempt at making this video. I just said, whatever, let me just go ahead and make it. And if you had noise or anything, people walking through, talking, all types of stuff. It's a blessing that I have people, so I'm not complaining about it. But I'm trying to make y'all video, and and first it was like four kids, <laughs> and then it was then another kid was crying. So I'm like, every time I kept trying to make this video, somebody kept coming through. The phone rang, and you know the phone's gonna be ringing in a few minutes, probably again because um, I ordered some food for my godson. So basically, you know, it's a little bit quieter right now, so I'm gonna try to do this real quick for y'all. So this week on the Ability 411, we was we are discussing why is there more funding or why they cut funding on, I guess, disability, spinal cord injury, and a lot of a lot of the ladies um they answered you know a lot of things that I'm um I guess kind of say again. Or really, I'm gonna put my opinion to it. Is that um, I think you know mental disability, let's say like um, cerebral palsy, autism, you know, um, stuff like that gets like more funding or more awareness or more um, support. It's basically because it's really hard to find a lot of um, famous people. Let me start over. A lot of issues get money because of famous people. Let's just be real about it. We live in a society that's based on media and whoever's the biggest or famous most person, if they come out with something they're fighting for, people will back them up. People follow, they follow famous people, they follow rich people. Um, and you know, that's just the way it is. And right now, a lot of famous people um, who are out there have um, children with with autism or mental disabilities, cerebral palsy, and a lot of funding, a lot of things are created because you know of their financial status and their fame, and a lot of support and just a lot of things comes from that. You know, there's not too many famous people who are in wheelchairs that you really know about, I mean, that are really big in the media, let's say, that were actors for a long time. You know, when Christopher Reeve was um, advocating once he, after he was paralyzed, it was a lot of attention, you know, a whole lot of attention. It was a lot of inspiration. It was, I mean, even myself, I was big, greatly inspired by him and the work that he did and I followed a lot of his um his work you know and I said to myself even then I said um it's time for me to see what I can do as an individual living with paralysis to bring awareness and I created a song I am the ex that um I wanted to put up but was told not to and I want to put it up but anyway and what else and then I created a documentary called City Call Heaven and it showed how I ate how I used the bathroom and how I pursued my career my situation I had sex you know Everything was deeply in depth, you know, show everything like that, you know, I'm not going to show it all, you know, you got to pay for that. But um, basically, you know, um, I really believe that we don't have too many famous people or rich people, you know, Bill Gates and, you know, Warren Buffett's and people like that. Who were creating any supports, any any money? I mean, majority of us live by SSI and health insurance, and gotta live off of the services. So a lot of us don't 
really do too much. Sit in the house. I mean, I go to the movies. I'm the only one in the wheelchair. I go to a club. I'm the only one in the wheelchair. I go to a strip club. I'm the only one in the wheelchair. <laughs> Did I say I went to the strip club? Yes or what? Whatever. Judge me. Anyway, I'm crazy today. My Pisces mode, mood or whatever the thing is, is, is flipping out. You know, I'm Pisces, you know, we yin and yang, you know, we got these two things like Gemini's, you know, going on. So sometimes I'm in one of my moods where I'm just other kit and I will not speak of any negative things but then I get into my other mode where I'm like I'm a human being and I'm going to want things and I've got desires and to deny one's instincts is denied the very fiber of your existence so I am just acting crazy today because I'm so glad to be back here with you guys on Ability 411 and it is the Abilities Expo weekend as well New York City Metro and I am going to go tomorrow see all my friends and I want to shoot a video and take some pictures and show you guys and and basically that's what it's about it's about picking up a camera showing what's going on and bringing awareness put it on the internet if we can all do something like that somehow, if we can just use a webcam and use our voice. But a lot of people, a lot of us in our situation, in this situation we in, uh, I was the same way. We look at ourselves much different. Uh, muscles, our body is not as sexy as we thought it would be in our situation. So we don't want to be on camera. We don't want nobody to talk, talk we don't want, you know, it's, it's just a lot of things why there isn't much great awareness because everybody says be you got to be the voice of someone we, we you know it's very hard like i said when you're not famous not too many people who are famous that you know who are famous maybe that's in wheelchairs uh talking about these issues you know most people they don't have to. I mean, sometimes people tell you, you know, you're supposed to, it's your, it's your duty. I don't think so. I think you got the right to your own life. And I feel as, and I live by this, this thought, this theory, that I'm going to live my life. I'm not going to sit around and wait for someone to give me my life back. And when you do that it's hard for the cure to happen because you're waiting for someone to bring a cure to you when you should just live your life the best way you can but live it there's a lot of people who've done a lot in their life that were rich there's things out there just gotta look got the internet now just look just go to the internet and put um grants for disability or grants for paralysis and things will come up just do that he say a new wheelchair there's there's money out there for that there's people who's giving money for that who they choose to give the money to this is another story but hey that's just life and it's just it's just about, like I said, there's a lot of famous people who have, like Sherry Shepard, she has a child, you know, with mental disability. So she puts on events every year, or she's part of an event every year. I mean, just it just comes, it's just down like that, you know, there's not too many famous people. And I'm talking about like, like someone like Robin De Niro, who, who's putting out a campaign for paralysis. You don't hear about stuff like that. You don't hear about it too much so there's if you don't get the attention you don't get the money you don't get the funding if they can ignore you they will ignore you as much as possible but if there's a big issue going on oh we're gonna have to do something about it because somebody famous is making a lot of noise about that issue so we have to do something to show we care about that issue <laughs> it's just the way the world is and I'm just being very Friday <laughs> today. Like I said, I'm, one, I'm in one of my Pisces moves. Alright. Alright. I'll be back. Alright. 
So. I'm just down the street. Okay. So the ladies, you know, they did a wonderful job answering that question the best way that we can answer it. And the best way I feel like I can answer it is just be honest. I mean, if you ain't famous, if the person famous ain't representing you, the issue doesn't doesn't get that much attention. I mean, you know, everybody supports cancer. So, you know, all the famous people. You'll get like a whole commercial with 16 famous people talking about cancer. Because everyone's life is touched by that. So there's billions of dollars that go into that. Events, shows, dedication, some concerts. And there's usually nobody putting on concerts to fund your issues. Like, hey, I need a new wheelchair. Hey, my insurance won't pay for this. There's, where's the money for that? Where's the famous people raising money for that? You know, what you going to wish paralysis on people's lives in order to get attention? No, wouldn't be right. So, you know, you survive the best way you can. You know, people in um, other countries that that got it worse than us. You don't even, people don't even know it. I mean, people don't even know how good they got it, even living in some of the worst areas in the United States. Uh, much better than some other countries. I've seen people who live, who in wheelchairs, who live in, let's say, um, other countries where there aren't, where they, you know, it's ground. It's not even concrete. It's not sidewalks. It, all of that is like luxuries to us. You know, curb cuts, sidewalks, elevators. There's some places that people get paralyzed and they can't even get in stores or do anything. And that's where the whole situation of being institutionalized happens. They create a place where they put people who can't get upstairs and stuff like that. You know, so you count your blessings. You thank your your God, whoever that may be, and live the best way you can in this country. And you find what is out there to help you in your situation. You take the good with the bad. It's the best advice I can give you. I'm being straight up. But like I said, you live your life. Live your life. Don't sit around and wait for somebody to give you your life back. Enjoy yourself. You deserve it. You know, look at it that way. You wake up, we wake up every day with a challenge. Accepting the fact that we can't wipe our own ass, can't wash ourselves, get ourselves dressed. We can't just stand up and just throw our hands in the air. Some people wake up who got that ability and are sad or crying or feeling more miserable than you are. So sometimes you gotta look at things in a way that, you know, you know, if you didn't have this, what it would be, because now you don't have it. Sometimes you just can't go back. <laughs> and say, now nah, I appreciate it. Now I know what it means not to have. Let's, let me stand up. It's not that easy. So go out or stay in, bring the fun to you. Have some fun, some parties, and enjoy yourselves with friends. Don't mean drinking and smoking, because I don't even do that. But have some fun, you know, whatever it is that makes you happy or whatever it is you want to do. Enjoy your life and let's do the best we can. Like I said, it's Friday, the Ability to Expo, Professor X. Um, the Ability to Expo weekend, the Ability to 411. <laughs> um, I think I can go now because it's my 15 minutes is up, but God bless you all. And thank God it's Friday. Have fun. You deserve it. Be blessed. Okay.